Coops, are you out there, bro? In the living room, bro. Bro, what the heck happened to me, man? I don't remember a thing, and everything freaking hurts on me. That's a bit of a long story that we don't have enough time to explain this week, but if you tune in next episode, you just might find out. Oh, all right, then what happened to you? You disappeared on me. That's also a long story, buddy, that I just do not have time to explain this week. What? Okay. Wait a minute. Are you wearing aviators? And is that Thor's hammer? <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Long story? Yep. Oh my god, can't you just tell me a shorter story or something? Sure. A guy walks up a hill, falls down the other side. The end. <sighs> You're a real piece of work, you know that? Yeah, but I'm just here for the best new music, so what do you guys say we dive right into the brand new stuff here on the Weekly Beatdown, and uh, somebody hit that damn theme song, please. All right. Thank you. Down, get ready, get beat down, get ready, get beat down Your head hits the floor, your odds are against you You gotta remember though, the things that we fight for will few you in the end Well, it looks like another beautiful music Monday out there And I'm your man, Zach Coops, here to bring you the best in Canadian music all the time From those lovely people as always, CanadianBeats.ca Who are linked to the description down below So please be sure to go check us out and give us a like and follow Well, if this is your first Monday tuning in, or whenever you're watching this video Welcome, and I'll let you know how the show works. We're going to be featuring two amazing Canadian songs here on the Weekly Beatdown that are going to be featured over on the website CanadianBeats.ca for you, the fans, to be voting on every single day from Monday to Saturday night. The one song counting with the most votes by the end of this week is going to be the one moving on to the next round of the Weekly Beatdown, so be sure to get your friends involved by using the hashtag Weekly Beatdown and make sure your favorite song can go all the way to the six weeks in a row and get retired to the Weekly Beatdown Hall of Fame. It's a very prestigious and mysterious club that only very few can join, so if you think your favorite song has what it takes, be sure to support them every single week here on the Weekly Beatdown and Canadian Beats, baby. However, these two songs are not the only things that will be featured here for the Weekly Beatdown that I'm dropping in that little musical wine glass of yours. No, no, no. We have also got four awesome recommendations that I have handpicked from the website CanadianBeats.ca. Link to the description down below as well if you want to go check them all out after the show. But I'm going to show you guys a few clips here over on the website. Jeez, I really just stuttered there. Sorry, that's the coffee kicking in. And I'm also just having some breakfast. Yum. But anyway, let's get into the show this week here on the weekly beatdown we've got these two awesome songs phasing off so let's kick things off with our returning champion who is here for his third time in a row all the way from toronto ontario kicking it off it's that pop dynamo andrew Cassara back once again with that oh so catchy track give me more bass coming off the ep move that body which you can go check out on all your favorite streaming services after you go vote for your favorite song and go check out this video right here on the weekly beatdown but speaking of which of voting if you want to see andrew Cassara move on to the weekly beatdown hall of fame his fans better square up and get your votes in over on the website canadian beats link to the description down below or the link is in my bio as well from monday to saturday night and quite honestly i just don't know what else to say about the song that just hasn't already been said before it's an amazing song it's oh so catchy you can dance to it in the club or you can dance to it in the tub. Warning, do not recommend dancing in the bathtub because that's a bad idea. But what do you say we check out a clip right here from our rainy song, Give Me More Bass by Andrew Cassara on the weekly beatdown this week for his third time in a row. So here we go, Give Me More Bass. And that is going to be our reigning champion for the last three weeks in a row now, Andrew Cassara with his song, Give Me More Bass, coming off of the EP, Move That Body. Be sure to go check it out now on all your favorite streaming platforms and get your votes in for your favorite song this week here on the Weekly Beatdown after we check out this next competition that is joining us here on the Weekly Beatdown for the first time in a row. This week we've got four-piece punk rock band Napoleon. No, not Dynamite or Bonaparte. I'm actually talking about the four-piece punk rock band from Toronto, Ontario, who have just dropped their brand new song, Can't Forget, which is coming off of their brand new EP, Enemy Within, which is out now on all your favorite streaming platform so be sure to go check it out but of course you're gonna check out a clip right here on the weekly beat town from their brand new video for can't forget and you get to vote for your favorite song this week here on the weekly beat town so if that is going to be napoleon be sure to get your votes in over on the website canadian beats linked in the description down below from monday to saturday night if you want to know a little bit more about the band be sure to go check out the five question interview we have with them over on the website canadianbeats.ca it's going to be linked in the description down below and go and check out their brand new ep enemy within out on all your favorite streaming platforms now but without further ado everybody this is going to be a clip from 
the brand new competition this week, Napoleon and Can't Forget on the weekly beatdown. Boom. Check it out. And those are going to be the two awesome songs facing off here on the Weekly Beatdown, so be sure to get those votes in over on the website, canadianbeats.ca, link to the description down below from Monday to Saturday night, so it's up to you at home, and get your friends involved by using the hashtag Weekly Beatdown when you're sharing on your social medias, please and thank you. Remember, it's up to you. The song with the most votes is going to be the one moving on to the next round of the Weekly Beatdown, and just that much closer to victory, and quite possibly being inducted to the Weekly Beatdown Hall of Fame, so it's up to you. Be sure to get your votes in, everybody, but without further ado, we've also got some amazing recommendations coming up here on Zach's Picks of the Week that you need to go check out over on the website, Canadian Beats. They're all going to be linked to the description down below. Trust me, I handpicked them myself. They are amazing and be sure to go add them to your playlist this week and go and support them on all their social medias as well. But without further ado, let's kick things off with number four right now on Zach's Picks of the Week. Kicking things off, we have got Calgary, Alberta-based rock singer-songwriter Tim Cambridge, aka Timothy J. He just dropped the video "All of Don't Lose Faith" on all your favorite streaming platforms now. But the inspiration behind this very special song came when Timothy listened to an audio cassette that was left behind by his grandfather for his children. The cassette was a recording of his grandfather talking about the anguish that he felt after losing his wife Olive to cancer. I heard the recording for the first time on the day of my father's funeral. I was moved by the recording and I wrote the song, says Tim. In the article over on the website Canadian Beats where we had a five question interview with Timothy J. If you guys want to go check that out, it's linked in the description down below. And of course, we're going to check out a clip right here from the video for all of Don't Lose Faith right now at number four on Zach's Picks of the Week. Everybody, please go check it out now on all your favorite streaming platforms as well. Next up at number three, we've got the very talented Andre Pettipaz and the Giants, who have just dropped the brand new single, Homesick, available now on all your favorite streaming platforms, so be sure to go check it out now. And they got a brand new interview over on Canadian Beats that's linked in the description down below. It features Christopher Thorne, the guitarist from critically acclaimed southern psych rock band Blind Melon. Like I said, there's a brand new interview over on the website, Canadian Beats, so go check out the article linked in the description down below. And of course, we're going to check out a clip right here from the brand new single from Andre Pettipaz and the Giants that you guys need to go check out on all your favorite streaming platforms now, but it is called Homesick, and it is featuring the very talented Christopher Throne right here at number three on Zach's Picks of the Week, everybody. second pick this week is going to be going to the EP review for New Moon by Kitchener, Ontario singer-songwriter Courtney Wolf. This will be her debut EP released on all streaming platforms and we've actually featured a couple of her singles here on Zach's Picks of the Week in the past. This whole EP was produced by the very talented Sydney Johnson over at One Life Music Group and in my opinion this is a fantastic EP so you guys need to go check it out and we're going to actually check out one of the clips from one of my favorite tracks off of the new EP called Make Me Forget. But if you guys want to go check out the full EP review link to the description down below to Canadian Beats. It was covered by our very own Matthew Shaw and and you guys need to go check it out. So I linked it in the description down below. It's pretty easy to go find. And we're going to check out a clip right here from my favorite track off the new EP called Make Me Forget. Ontario blues man Steve Mariner will be taking the top spot this week here on My Picks of the Week with his brand new video for How High. That will be coming off of his brand new solo album titled Hope Dies Last, which will be coming out on July 2nd through Stony Plain Records. This album was crafted through the last year of the pandemic, plus some years on the road and back. It explores Steve's ever-changing sound and expands his skill sets as a very busy artist. Be sure to keep your eyes out for Hope Dies Last on all streaming platforms when it comes out. However, I've got a clip from the brand new video that I think you're all going to enjoy, so we're going to get right into it here on Zach 
Sox picks of the week. Without further ado, this is going to be the number one pick, Steve Mariner with his song, How High. Be sure to go check it out now on all streaming platforms and go show him some love, everybody. Peace. Those are going to be my recommendations on Zach's Picks of the Week, so please be sure to go check them all out. Link in the description down below to CanadianBeats.ca. And, of course, you're going to find even more awesome, great content over there. So please go and check us out. Link in the description down below. And go and give us a follow on all your favorite social medias, like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They're all going to be linked down there as well. So please just go check them out. They're all linked down there. So it's a pretty easy follow. Just follow the link down in the description. Done. And we'd also greatly appreciate it to death if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button as well and punching that notification bell so you're notified when the next videos on the Weekly Beatdown or the Canadian Beats channel are posted. We'd also greatly appreciate you smacking that like button in the face and also send this off to your friends by using the hashtag Weekly Beatdown link in the description down below and do the same thing on Instagram if you wouldn't mind as well. That would be amazing. However, that's pretty much going to be it for the Weekly Beatdown this week. I hope you guys enjoyed all the great music this week and I will be back once again with more awesome recommendations and more awesome songs facing off next week here on the weekly beatdown but be sure to get your votes in for this week's competition for the weekly beatdown link to description down below or the link is in my bio monday to saturday night people be sure to get your votes in and get your friends involved but that is it my name is zach coops this has been the weekly beatdown thank you guys so much for tuning in and hopefully you will tune in next week to see what happens to the whatever happened at the beginning i don't actually know what's going on really he said it was a long story and i don't think it was really that long of a story but i guess we'll see how long episode is next week but anyway Thanks guys. Peace, love, and good music, uh, and I'll see you later. Feel like a lost cause, I'm never the top dog. I'm breaking the lock, John TKO. Watch him go six rounds, the folks going up and down. In Canada talks now, I'm turning the volume loud.